the truth that nobody wants to talk about. Girls, when you guys are throwing us signs, you know, like hitting us and playing with us and laughing with us and touching us and stuff like that and giving us the signs to show us that you like us, you may sometimes think like, why is he not responding to me? Like, does he not see me throwing these obvious signs? And girls, I'm here to inform you, we are not oblivious. It's just sometimes guys need time to figure out if you're what we really want. We don't like just jumping into new commitments without knowing for sure it's what we want to do. So we're trying to gauge whether or not we want to return that energy or whether or not we, you know, want to keep it at a distance. But by no means do we not see what is happening. And by no means am I trying to give away the guy's secrets. But I am saying if we are not acknowledging it, that could be the guy's way of politely letting you down. But if he starts returning that energy, it's time for you to handle your business. Thank you for your time. I got a question. Y'all phone ever just be trying y'all for no reason? For instance, face ID. When I wake up in the morning, my phone acts like it has no idea who I am. It'd be like, nah, you too ugly right now. You gotta come back later. You better wash your face or something, but I ain't unlocking for you. Or like, you ever be trying to take a picture or something, and then you accidentally turn the camera around and see your face, and you just be sitting there looking awkward like, Another thing that pisses me off is that when I say, hey Siri, she don't never want to respond. But whenever I'm having a regular conversation, somehow she hears every single word I say. And when I do actually talk to Siri, she has no idea what I'm talking about whatsoever. And I can say it clear as day. Like, where is McDonald's? And she'll be like, where is McDonald's? Man, that last word is just not coming through right. I'm sorry. Lastly, why is it that I can drop my phone 87 different times and nothing ever happens, but the one time that I drop it, while my hand is two feet above the ground, it shatters? Thank you for your time. Things I did and used to want to do as a kid. Was I the only one in elementary school who used to want to either break their leg or their arm? And I don't mean go through the pain of it, I just mean I wanted to have a cast so that everybody could sign it, and I thought the crutches were pretty cool. And I also used to want glasses and braces, and I don't know why, I just, I, I just wanted it. I don't know if you're gonna know what I'm talking about here, but do y'all know that thing that used to hang out from the wall that was like bendy, and you used to play with it all the time? And for some reason, that kept me entertained for hours. Another thing I used to hate was when you would get that one gift that you know you didn't want, but you had to accept it with gratitude, and it would be like socks, or underwear or something. Like, where are all the video games that I asked for at? And man, I don't know about y'all, but when I was a kid, I used to be deathly afraid of showers. And it's not getting clean, it's just the little sounds that you would hear while you're in the shower and you got the shower curtain closed so you can't see. And it's like you hear a sound and you're just like, well, I guess it's my time to die today. Thank you for your time. This one goes out to all the people with strict parents. One of the things I hate the most about having strict parents is that they need to establish trust with your friends. Like, you need to give a whole backstory of your friends before your parents start to trust them. And what pisses me off more than anything else is when they don't remember your friends. Like, yo, my mom does not remember any of my friends. They can have spent the night three nights in a row, and two months later, I'm like, Ayo, you remember Danny? And she's like, who is... Have I heard that name before? I mean, he only spent the night in your house. Another thing strict parents like to do is hit you with what I like to call tight lip yelling. Tight lip yelling is where you yell, but you don't use your jaw at all. An example of this would be when you go to the grocery store and you grab something that you know your parents not gonna let you get, and you try to put it in the cart anyways, and then they hit you with that, put it back. And I don't even know how they do it, because they're yelling at you, but they're not even moving their jaw. They're just, like, do you know how mad you have to be to yell at somebody and not even move your jaw? Thank you for your time. Let me get some things off my chest real quick. Why are we already talking about Christmas? We haven't even passed Halloween, we still have Thanksgiving, and I'm not gonna lie, it kinda pisses me off. First of all, how can you diss Halloween? You're dressing up as whatever you want and you get free candy. And I know y'all not dissing Thanksgiving as much as you like to eat. Next thing, the weather is really pissing me off right now because why is it that in the morning I have to wear a heavy coat to walk to class, but in the afternoon I have to take everything off and have on a tank top or I will be sweating bullets. And what makes it worse is the fact that I hate the cold. The only reason I like it is because I can start throwing together fits. And girls, real quick, now is not the time for y'all to be playing games with feelings, all right? Because it is cuffing season, I have hoodies that are ready to be stolen, so quit playing games. Cause look, I don't have the time for it and neither do you, so why are we even having this conversation? Thank you for your time.